number 24. Consider this equation for f and this one for g. Let's figure out if f times g is commutative with g times f, meaning is f times g equal g times f? Well, I'm going to write it here. f dot g is going to be equal to, and I'll substitute for f, I'm going to have 4x plus 3, and that's going to multiply times the g's equation, which is x squared minus 7. I have two parentheses next to each other, multiplying. So whenever you have two groupings multiplying, you need to FOIL, which means, uh, I'll write out FOIL here. First times first, which is going to be 4x cubed. Outside times outside, which will be negative 28. Whoops, negative 28x here plus 3x squared here minus 21. And it looks like none of these terms are alike, so it would just remain as 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 28x minus 21. Now there's f of g, or f times g rather. Now let's see if this equals g times f. So I'll come over here, g dot f is going to equal, and g was x squared minus 7. And we'll multiply this times f, which is 4x plus 3. I'm getting these equations from right there. Again, we FOIL. So x squared times 4x is 4x cubed. x squared times 3 is 3x squared. Negative 7 times 4x is negative 28x. And finally, negative 7 times positive 3 is negative 21. As we can see, these two match each other perfectly, so this is commutative. And I would say yes, commutative since f times g equals g times f.